a redstone. Today I'm going to show you how to fix CNB Minecraft's digital clock memory bank for Minecraft update 1.4.6. And first I'll show you why exactly it broke in the first place. Uh, you may have noticed this in your circuits when you try to build it in 1.4.6. What happens is these pistons will extend or these will, but another set um, will not extend. And this is caused by a set of pistons not retracting in time for the other to extend. And that is a problem. So you might be asking yourself, well, how do I fix this? Uh, pulse limiters are how you fix this. And so now I'll show you how to build the pulse limiter of the circuit and what exactly the pulse limiter does and how it works and all that fun stuff. So we're going to build his uh, clock generator first. For CMBs that is, that he uses. Uh, so stick a piston there, block there, two torches under it. Have a repeater going in there, set that on uh, max time so it goes kind of slow. You can speed it up later though. And there is the uh, basic clock right there. Uh, this is your output line, this is another output line, and this is the uh, inverted one, but it doesn't really matter which one. And so to build the pulse limiter, uh, put red sign out there, red sign out here, so there's your output lines. Put a hole in the ground, run red sign through it, put a sticky piston, uh, one block away from it, then put a block next to it. Go like, oops, sorry. Go like that. And then this is going to be inverted, uh, however, oh wait, no, oh well. So this is now going to be one tick long, uh, this pulse. So now if you're on the red center, you can see this is a one tick long pulse. That is exactly what we want, because that will give enough time for the pistons to retract uh, and kind of reset before the other set extends. So let's build another one over here, on the ground, red sun going through it, there we go. And so now we have our outputs, which are uh, both one tick long. Awesome. And then here's a, a slightly cleaner version of the circuit. Um, this is it isolated from the rest. Uh, and so if this is your clock generator coming out here, you're going to just need to build these two pulse limiters right next to it. So now let's disconnect it from uh, CMB's original design. And let's connect it to the pulse limiters now. And we should see it work. Okay. Right there. And as you can see, uh, it now works. The blocks rotate around. And everything works. So now let's see it working in a uh, full scale version. And I found the max, or the, uh, the fastest time you can set this on is uh, two ticks right here and that will make this thing just haul ass. So cool, hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Thanks, bye.